They were the picture of a fun-loving couple. But the image of their shot-out camper van and police combing it for clues near the coastal town of Ragolan depicts a night of terror. At approximately 3.20 a.m., police were notified that an offender had approached a van and shots were fired. Bianca Buckley, originally of Halifax, awoke to a commotion. Her Australian fiancé, Sean McKinnon, was injured in what police are calling a random attack. Police say Buckley escaped on bare foot and ran for her life down a gravel road and through thick brush to seek help. The shooter got behind the wheel and took off. The van was later found near the village of Gordonton, 75 kilometres away. McKinnon's dead body was still inside. The police are dedicated in regards to keeping our community safe. Hours later, police made an arrest after tips from the public. A 23-year-old local man is now facing charges, including murder and aggravated robbery. Some comfort to Buckley. She is obviously shocked and traumatized in regards to it. She is thankful that an arrest within a 24-hour period has occurred in regards to it, and we're working uh, with her in regard and her family, and we'll continue to be in touch with her around her wealthy. Well, it's a shock for the community-wise, and it's certainly a shock for, uh, the na- uh, for the nation of New Zealand. Buckley, a midwife working in New Zealand, and McKinnon were avid surfers. And in Nova Scotia, where Buckley used to serve at this restaurant and surf in these waves, there's concern. We see a lot of people surf camping. Uh, it's maybe a bucket list item for a lot of surfers. It's something we've all done at some point in different places around the world. And uh, yeah, to think that that's something to be feared now is really unsettling. I'm pretty sure the community will rally and offer whatever support we can, uh, even though it's quite far away, but like she, yeah, she obviously has this community to come come to for, for support. Consular officials are offering Buckley whatever assistance they can in New Zealand, and her family back home in Canada says they're devastated, calling it an absolutely unbelievable event. Tom Murphy, CBC News, Halifax.